it's time to orient the scene and export into Maya. Don't forget that because we had to undistort the footage, we're also going to have to export the footage again with the undistortion on it. And we can pretty much define by changing the edit mode to axes, where each and every one of these axes is going to be. So I'm going to turn off the Y, turn off the Z. Let's bring back the cinema view to a single view. And then take my X line and define where the X is in the footage right over here. Very similar to what we did with the estimate focal. Turn off the X axis, turn on the Y axis and then define where the Y axis is in the shot. Now we can select one of these points on the ground. I'm going to select this one and click on set origin. Now in this case Despite the fact that we did use the axes, you can see that some of these points ended up being behind or underneath my grid. So I'm going to change the edit mode to rotation. And now I can manually change my orientation within the 3D space. Scrub around to see how my footage behaves. Okay, so a bit of rotation on the x-axis. And it looks as if the scene is set properly. Great. So now we can turn off the edit mode to none. And now after the orient scene, we're going to right click on the mouse again and export. We're going to export this into Maya. So since we also have through the camera silver some lens distortion, we're going to need to export not only the camera and the trackers, but we're also going to need to export the clip with the distortion on it. So I'm going to activate my clip export. I'm going to click on export clips and it's going to go through all 350 frames and export the undistorted clip. And then we're going to click on export the scene and we're going to see how to work with it in Maya. So let's jump to the next video in which we're going to start working in Maya.